Hi, I'm Divya and I'm with Apogee Google Cloud. Welcome to the Edge Analytics module of the Apogee Troubleshooting Series. In this video, we are going to see how one can make use of custom reports to get to know the source of API error responses. The prerequisites of this video are that you should have an Apogee Edge account and you should have also gone through the Introduction to Custom Reports video in the Edge Analytics module of the Apogee Troubleshooting series. API error responses can range from response codes of 400 to 599. These error codes can have various sources, the target or customer backend, the Apogee, or the client. The custom reports helps us to get to know which of these sources are responsible for the error responses. With the help of custom reports, we can also determine the same for a time that has occurred in the past. Let's take a look at a simple use case to have a better understanding. So let's say we have our clients complaining of errors coming for some of their API calls. Now we're going to see how with the help of custom reports, we can track the source of these API error responses. So I log into enterprise.apogee.com and I have a lot of proxies here that are deployed and taking traffic. So we'll go to the analyze menu icon over here, click on reports and get a custom report going. Let's provide a report name, say API error report and also provide a description. We'll select the chart type as line. For the metrics, we'll select the sum of traffic. For the dimensions, we're going to select response status code and target response code. Response status code is the status code which is sent back to the client by Apogee. And the target response code is the response code which is sent by the target or backend server to Apogee. Now let's go ahead and save this custom report. Let's select the time frame when this issue happened. You can also select other custom ranges from this left-hand side panel. Make sure you select the right environment where this issue happened. So you can see the list of all the response status code that was generated by Apogee back to the client for this particular time range. You can also see the 5xx and 4xx errors generated during this time frame. When you click on a response code, say 500, you can see the target response code that was generated by the target. Now let's go back and select a particular response status code, say 504. You can see that the number of 504 errors generated for this time range was 79. Let's click on this response status code and you can see that the target also sent 504 errors in this particular time range and the number of errors exactly matches, which indicates that the source of these 504 errors was the target. Now the point to note here is that the target here is considered as the HTTP target endpoint that you define in your proxy or target servers that you define in your environment. So if you have a service call out policy to another target, or a call out to another backend in your JavaScript policy, then those are different and do not constitute as targets here. This report gives you a cumulative of all errors that happen for this org and environment during this time range. And this report is useful to track all error responses happening across all of your APIs and to know whether Apogee or target is at fault. To know which target is actually throwing these errors, you can add one more dimension, which is either target host or target IP address to get the target details. So let's go ahead and edit this custom report over here. And I'm going to take one more dimension, which is target host. So let's go ahead and save. Now, if you select a particular response status code, say 504, and select the target response code 504, you can actually see the target host that generated those 504 errors during that particular time period. 
You can also modify this report a little bit to give you more information about which proxy or developer app experienced most of these errors. For this, you would need to add one more dimension, which is proxy or developer app, which would give you the proxy name or the app name for which these errors happened. So let's go ahead and edit this report. And instead of target host, let's go ahead and give proxy. Let's go ahead and save this. So when you click on a particular response status code, say 500, and click on the target response code, you can see the proxy that generated those 500 errors in this particular time period. You can also refine this report by defining a filter which will ensure that only those apps or proxies are listed that generated an error status code. So let's go ahead and edit this custom report here. Let's go ahead and delete these dimensions. Let's keep the proxy dimension. We're going to add a filter condition on response status code not equal to 200. So basically, we want the list of all proxies that generated error responses for a particular time period. So let's go ahead and save this report. So this report will now give you the list of all the proxies that generated error responses during this particular time period. You can also add one more dimension, which is response status code, uh, to see what was the response status code that was generated for that particular proxy. This will give you a quick overview of which apps or proxies are generating most error responses. You can also download this custom board as CSV file to view the data in another format. Please watch our other videos in the same module to get to know other use cases that custom reports helps to solve. Please do share, like, and comment if you find this video helpful. Thank you.